Uh, hello, my name is Peter. I work for hwbot.org and we're here at the HWBot Taipei Labs to show off what Intel XTU is all about. XTU stands for Extreme Tuning Utility and it's a software application developed by Intel to um, give end users the knobs and the sliders they need to overclock their processor. So Intel XTU does not only allow you to change uh, overclock, overclocking settings, but it also allows you to save all those, all those settings. When you're new to overclocking, you don't always have an idea of what is important to change, right? So you can use XTU to analyze your system and then go online on HWBot and find profiles of similar systems that are slightly overclocked. So you, cannot, you can find all the settings online and then either download the profile or just change the settings in the application yourself. XTU and the XTU profiles are essentially a simplified form of sharing your settings. So if you go into an extreme overclocking forum and you see someone uh, on Liquid Nitrogen post all his settings and you see, oh, 1.8 vCore, 64 CPU ratio, there is nothing that stops you from that also trying that on your system on air cooling. So in a way, that, that didn't change. So yeah, you can download a profile from, uh, that is based with LN2 cooling and try to apply it in your system. Um, worst case scenario, XTU will tell you that it's not working. So XTU will, will look at all the settings in the profile and it will try to tell the BIOS what has to be changed. And if the BIOS is unable to change it on the next reboot, XTU will identify settings that have not been changed, but that were supposed to be changed. And that's the end of the story. So it will, it will just report, okay, these are the settings that I've not been able to, to change. You can download a different profile and test if that one works, a lower clock one. So for those who are scared, let's try something ridiculous on air cooling. Well, it's, we're not really uh, running air cooling, we're running a water cooling all-in-one type of cooling. But so we're trying 6.6 .6 gigahertz with 1.7 volts and it crashed. That's it. So kind of shut down the PC, boot it up again. The BIOS says OC failed. And we can start from scratch. So we can just press F2 to load the default set uh, values. So you can see that the application indicates that um, something happened while you were trying to overclock. Just continue and what we see is that the system just reset to normal values. Go back to profiles, we have this one saved um, here. That is, uh, if we look on the right, 4.5 gigahertz with 2667 memory. Apply that one. I want to reset. There we are. We're back at 4.5 gigahertz, 2667 mem memory.